Hey guys, what's up, Aries? Thanks for watching. One second, I have to this. There we go. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, today we're gonna take a look at the last two weeks of August. We're gonna break it down week by week. Get two cards for each week. These could be two separate situations where they may run concurrent, depending on you. Everybody will be different. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So this could be your energy, the energy of someone that you're dealing with. Um, also remember this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone, but if it does with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Alright, Aries, last two weeks of August for Aries. August 15th through the 29th for Aries. Alright, Aries, let's see what's going on for the rest of your month. Aries. Oh, that's way too many. We won't take any of them. Aries. I kept seeing the Ace of Pentacles um, for you guys during pre shuffle. So it's like there's something new you're trying to start. You may um, be a little in your head about that. Or someone is for some reason. So a little anxious or worried about someone. Alright, Aries. So we'll see when we get your cards. The devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Gemini Libra Aquarius popping up. Aries. Two more cards for Aries. Okay. <laughs> Aries. Well, that. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you get the Ace of Cups. Uh, Eight of Cups, sorry. You may have walked away for some, from someone, or they may have walked away from you. Possibly. Um, someone's holding back. There might have been something that was found out. Um, for the third week of August, the week of August 15th. You get the devil and the seven of swords. Um, this Capricorn energy, but this is a sneak card. This is somebody being dishonest, sneaky about something. Um, and that's clarified by the devil. So for some of you, this could definitely be some type. Well, there's the seat here. All right. And then for the last week, um, looks like there's some healing going on. So hopefully you're cutting out that bull crap. Lovers, yeah, two of pentacles. It's like somebody is trying to make a decision or juggling between two people or two energies, trying to make a decision between two things. Tell me about this two of pentacles for Aries. Yep, <laughs> with the six of pentacles, it can't get much clearer. Bottom of the deck, toward uh, queen of pentacles. So now we have the queen of pentacles and the queen of swords. Um. Somebody is doing some sneaky shit. Um, and remember, this is a general reading, so if it's not your story, leave it. But someone is trying to make a decision. They're juggling two people. Six of Pentacles, um, giving it two people. With the Seven of Swords here, it doesn't get much clearer than that. Tell me about the Seven of Swords for Aries. Yeah, somebody, somebody is being deceitful, and they're trying to get the strength here. Um, talking about this judgment. This is also talking about decision decisions with this judgment card. Um, you could be dealing with the Aries here. I mean, I'm sorry, a Leo. Yeah, I think you're moving away from this. It's like um, you're making a decision. Like I think you're aware of this. So if this is your story, I feel like you'll know it. But somebody is definitely very clearly here giving it to people. Um, and it's like, somebody is trying to get the strength. They're making the decision. Um, there's definitely past issues here that need to be addressed, but I feel like this is you detaching emotionally from this. With this six of swords, this can mean, um, you know, going to calmer waters here. Somebody trying to take that to calmer waters, but I think you're detaching emotionally. Got the three cards at the bottom with the Empress. Definitely could be dealing with the Taurus, wife, mother type. Um, but somebody's feeling left out in the cold. They're really worried. There's a lot of anxiety around this. It's like somebody's been breadcrumbing, possibly, like, doing the least. It's 
So I feel like this is you detaching from some type of really toxic situation here. <laughs> Excuse me. Show me this Queen of Swords for Aries. I feel like this is like the energy you're taking on. Like you're not taking anyone's bullshit here. Yeah, with the Four of Pentacles. You're holding back. Or someone is this fourth week. They're holding back emotionally. Like I said, I think here you left this situation behind. You detached emotionally, like I said. And I think this is you kind of using um, your logical side. I mean, you see clearly what's going on and you're not going to take the bull crap here. And you're holding, you're just holding back. Like I, Again, another Taurus card. This could have been a marriage for some of you guys. Um, and your numbers do break down to a six. So that talks about, um, harmony, balance, and, you know, understanding, but this is like finding harmony for yourself. Show me this four of swords. You're holding back, you're healing. And, uh, or someone is, how is this is resonating for you? There's no movement. Tell me about this four of swords for Aries, please. Thank you. Yeah. This is your intuition. You you knew about it. you you felt this, and you're healing here. Someone may be kind of coming off um, completely non-expressive. You could be um, some of you could have a child with this person. I feel like because um, this is your energy, but I I feel like you, somebody is not showing any. Emotions, expressions, nothing this week. Possibly both of you. I feel like towards the situation, like, you just, you're detached and you know it. And towards the situation, you're coming off um, kind of cold. There you are at the bottom with the emperor. Yeah, I feel like you're happy. You're in your space. You're feeling good. You're optimistic. You're focusing on you. Um... But you're feeling confident in doing that. You're healing. And I think you're keeping this to yourself here. You're not being very expressive. So I think. But I think you knew this was happening. And. Um, you're kind of just like enough with the bullshit. Yeah you're fed up with it. There's my fed up card. It's too heavy. It's too hard. It's overwhelming. I don't think. Um, if this is your story, I don't think this is coming um, as any shock to you that this was going on. Like, I feel like if this was is your story, you already know about this. You can at least sense it. You feel like something is just not right because the balance is completely out of whack here. And I feel like you're rebalancing that here for yourself, for your better good, for your highest good. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped. Hope this resonated. If so, please make sure you like and subscribe below. Mm -hmm. Walk away from this if this is your story. Because this is just a person who kind of gets bored and moves away. <clears throat> Excuse me. They kind of cause drama in relationships, pacey, you know, unpleasant environments. And you're leaving this alone. Go, Aries. All right, guys. Um... <clears throat> If this does, oh, there's something new coming for you. It could be this person trying to come back, but I, I feel like this is something like brand new. New opportunities with love and um, prosperity. Your money. Yeah, just as I said, that, that's abundance. That's, there's going to be communication about something good. So leave this crap alone because we don't need it. Yeah, something stable, some, some, it's just a lot of stability there. And this could be this person trying to come back and, uh, smooth crap over, but I feel like this is new. Alright guys, I will see y'all next time.